here for the special edition where I put myself out on the glacier to show you how to survive in case you get stuck out in the freezing cold. Survival tip number one. If you're out on the glacier, there are ice patches that go hundreds of feet deep and you can fall through them to your death. So this trick may keep you alive. Uh, what you do is you take a bag, preferably a backpack if you got one, and you fill it up with snow so it's really heavy and it drags behind you. And you tie some ropes to it and then you just walk and drag it behind you. It may be a little more difficult to walk, but if you fall in one of the ice caves, it'll, with the weight, it'll notch. It'll become like an anchor on the land. So you won't fall to your death. You can actually climb back up uh, using this, this just simple bag filled with snow on a rope. And uh, I learned this technique from my buddy Bear. And I once tried it on a tree the first time I did it. And it didn't work very well. So just remember this one simple technique and it may save your life. Survival tip number two. When you're out on the glacier, you're going to get very dehydrated. And staying dehydrated is key in staying alive. Now, you may have to resort to eating snow. Yes, eating snow. It'll be cold, but it melts in your mouth, and it'll keep you very hydrated. Now, you don't want to eat every kind of snow. I'm going to show you which kind of snow you want to eat. Now, over here is a prime example. It's this snow right here. It's uh, very white and uh, fluffy and it tastes amazing, and I already feel myself getting more hydrated right now. Now, the snow you don't want to eat is the yellow snow. Hmm. Tastes like Yeti pee. So remember to eat the white fluffy snow and not the yellow snow. Survival tip number three. I'm going to show you which animals are easy to catch and give you uh, a rich source of vitamins and minerals that can give you the energy to get off the glacier. Now, here we have uh, tracks of the wild snow jumper. And you can see how they jump with their legs together. And it's, they're kind of like a big rabbit, but they're slow and easy to catch. And they don't fight back and struggle very much. So, uh, you know, if you can get a hold of one of these, they're a great source of protein and the energy you need to get off the glacier. Now, I'm going to track this one down, follow its footprints, and uh, we're going to try and find one for you. So there's the footprints. Uh, oh, I see one down here. We're going to try and sneak up on it. There it goes hopping there, folks. See it hopping? That right there, folks, is a, is a snow jumper. If you can get a hold of one of those, then you can get... Great meat, and uh, they're just great and rich in minerals, and it's pretty much all you need with uh, in tantum with the uh, the snow that you eat in the water, and it's just great for you. You'll have chock full of energy, and it's great. If you could get your hands on one of these snow jumpers, it could be vital to you getting off the glacier alive. Let's recap. Tip number one: You want to carry a bag behind you, preferably a backpack filled with snow. If you're walking across the glacier and you fall through an icy hole, it'll anchor and you can pull yourself back up. Tip number two, you want to stay hydrated. Eat the light fluffy snow, stay away from the yellow snow. Tip number three, if you can find easy prey like a snow jumper, do so. Because they're chock full of nutrients and they'll keep you going. If you can do all these three survival tips, you may be sitting next to your fireplace the very next day reading a book. See you on the next episode of Coyote Chris.